What does this jet airliner, this jet fighter, and this experimental rocket plane all have in common? We're going to tell you in a special episode of Celebrating Aviation with Mike Machat. What these three airplanes have in common is that at one time in history, they were the fastest in the world of their type. They were called Speed Demons, the world's fastest airplanes. What is the world's fastest airplane? Well, I'm glad you asked. I have a photo to show you. And this airplane is so famous, it hangs uh, in the National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. And here it is. Yes, this was the world's fastest airplane in 1903, a blistering speed of 27.2 miles per hour. But only 10 years later, a French racing seaplane wins the first Schneider Trophy race at Monaco, flying 100 miles per hour faster. That's incredible. Ten years after that, the Curtis R2C1, shown converted as a seaplane here, sets a world speed record well above 200 miles per hour. Ten years later, the Weddell Williams racer with Roscoe Turner posing here breaks the 300 mile per hour barrier. And in Germany, a prototype of the Messerschmitt ME109 flies faster than 400 miles per hour. Entering the jet age, we have straight-wing subsonic aircraft like the Lockheed P-80 Shooting Star and swept-wing transonic jets like North American's F-86 Sabre. And 50 years after the Wright brothers, supersonic flight had been achieved by jet-powered aircraft. Colonel Pete Everest flew the North American F-100 to a world record that year, while Scott Crossfield flew the rocket-powered Douglas D-558-2 to twice the speed of sound. Ten years later, we have a Mach 3 jet, the Lockheed YF-12, and a Mach 6 rocket, North American's legendary X-15, with NASA pilot Joe Walker holding the speed record that year. We'll explain about Mach numbers in a moment. A special tip of the hat to the Hughes H-1 racer and Howard Hughes' world records in the 1930s. And by the end of the 20th century, another racing airplane had made history when Lyle Shelton flew nearly 530 miles per hour in a modified piston-powered Grumman Bearcat. The fastest single-engine jet had reached nearly 1,600 miles per hour. And the fastest production airplane ever built, Lockheed's revolutionary SR-71 Blackbird, routinely flew high-altitude recon missions at speeds approaching 2,000 miles per hour and at altitudes of 90,000 feet. But the fastest flight of a manned winged aircraft within the Earth's atmosphere to this day was made in this airplane in 1967, the highly modified X-15A2. So let's talk about Mach numbers. It's named for Ernst Mach, the Austrian physicist who discovered the speed of sound. And it's quoted as a calibrated speed of 767 miles per hour at sea level. This is a relative value. It's affected by altitude, air pressure, temperature, and so on. But it's quoted as 760 miles per hour at sea level, which makes Mach 2 1,341 miles per hour at sea level. So how many airplanes could fly at Mach 2? Well, it's an impressive list. I'm going to leave it on the screen here for a moment if you want to freeze frame and look at the details, but uh, quite a few airplanes. And this isn't all of them. I've left off some of the uh, fighter prototypes that were in fly-off competitions, one-of-a-kind airplanes, things like that. But this is a general list, and these are the single-engine Mach 2 jets. Here is the multi-engine Mach 2 jet aircraft, again with the Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird, topping the list at Mach 3.3. What's even more incredible is the rate at which this progress happened. Here's the first airplane to fly Mach 2, the Douglas Skyrocket. And uh, that was in 1953. Just three years later, we have a, a Mach 2 capable jet, the F-104 Starfighter, and a Mach 2 bomber that same year, 1956, the Convair B-58 Hustler. So on the Navy side of things, uh, the first supersonic airplane for the Navy became a reality in 1954 with Grumman's F-11F Tiger. Note the prominent gun smoke on the lower intake, and yes, this is the fabled airplane that shot itself down during a test flight in 1956 
when the jet overran its own bullets in a slight dive and crash landed. The pilot did survive, however. While the F-11F was not an ultimate success, a faster version evolved with the F-11F-1F Super Tiger, powered by the same General Electric J-79 turbojet as Lockheed's F-104 Starfighter. This airplane never entered production, but it was a good example of how different power plants can dramatically impact the success of an aircraft. In 1955, the Navy's first true operational supersonic airplane made its inaugural flight, the Vought F-8U-1 Crusader. Oh, wait a minute. I have a better picture of the Crusader. Yeah, that's more like it. And notice it's a Thompson Trophy winner as well. An advanced experimental version of the Crusader, the XF-8U-3, became the Navy's fastest jet airplane, reaching Mach 2.39 and setting a zoom climb record of 85,000 feet in 1959. This in-flight photo shows the jet's massive ventral fins in their fully lowered position. And here's another airplane with control services that extended downward in flight, the triple sonic North American XB-70 Valkyrie, the largest airplane ever to fly three times the speed of sound. But you can see in this photo why the airplane literally could not be landed. Uh, the crew would have to eject, actually, if the wingtips were unable to be raised to their full upright position. Let's take a look at the development of the fastest airplanes in Europe beginning with this, the French Blériot, which set uh, the world speed record in 1910. Another Schneider Trophy winner was the stunning Rolls-Royce-powered Supermarine S6B, which broke the 400-mile-per-hour barrier in 1931 and served as the precursor to Supermarine's legendary World War II Spitfire. From Italy, the magnificent Mach-E MC-72, powered by two coupled Fiat AS6 liquid-cooled V12 engines and propelled by contra-rotating four-blade propellers. The world's fastest multi-engine piston-powered aircraft is the German Dornier DO-335 Arrow, while the world's fastest propeller-driven airplane is Russia's turboprop Tupolev Tu-95 Bear Bomber and its Tu-114 airliner counterpart shown in this photo. For the jets, Great Britain's Gloucester Meteor Mark IV, similar to this aircraft, set the world's first speed record in excess of 600 miles per hour in 1945. Britain's first supersonic airplane was the de Havilland DH-108 Swallow in 1948, and the needle-nosed Delta Wing Ferry Delta II became the world's first airplane to fly faster than 1,000 miles per hour in 1956. The English were justifiably proud of this achievement and even ran uh, ads, as you see here, in America's uh, uh, magazines and, and newspapers, touting the record and the fact that it broke uh, the previous record held by a U.S. airplane by more than 300 miles per hour. Then came the double sonic English Electric Lightning and Great Britain's fastest aircraft, the magnificent TSR-2. From the Soviet Union came the Mikoyan YE-166, a factory prototype for what became the MiG-21. This airplane set a world speed record in 1962. In France, experimental flight test and development work was underway for a new generation of supersonic aircraft. And in 1954, the Nord 1402 Gerfol became the first European aircraft to exceed Mach 1 in level flight. Five years later, the radical Nord 1500 Griffin II flew twice the speed of sound. And the French Dassault Company soon produced the highly successful and long-running Mirage family of tactical and strategic Delta Wing aircraft, like the stalwart Mirage 3 fighter, and the majestic-looking Mirage 4 light bomber. This is our photo of the week, and it validates the phrase, it looks like it's flying supersonic just sitting on the ground. I love this photo. And in this shot, we see the Mirage 4 performing a dramatic Jado or Rado takeoff. An impressive culmination of development work, and, development work and engineering in Europe was achieved with Concorde, a joint Anglo-French design effort that created the world's only sustained supersonic jet passenger service beginning in 1976. What were the world's fastest airliners? Well, let's start with this one. It's called the Racer for its impressive top speed of 210 miles per hour. It's the Douglas DC-2. 
and a DC-2 actually carrying passengers flew in the 1934 McRobertson Trophy Air Race from London, England to Melbourne, Australia, placing second behind a de Havilland DH-88 Comet racer. By the early 1950s, Lockheed Constellations and Douglas DC-6s were flying the world's main airline routes at cruising speeds of 300 miles per hour. The more advanced Douglas DC-7 became the fastest of the prop liners with a 365-mile-hour cruise speed. Next milestone is passenger flight uh, at 400 miles per hour with the Lockheed Electra, America's only four-engine turboprop airliner. Now, this piston-powered streamliner would have cruised at 460 miles per hour had it gone into airline service. This is the Republic XR-12, an Air Force photo recon prototype that was canceled after World War II. But there, were, there was an airline version proposed, and there were orders, unfortunately, that never came to pass. The world's first jet airliner, the de Havilland Comet 1, entered service in 1952, bringing 500 mile per hour speeds to commercial air travel. The 625 mile per hour Convair 990, with its four aerodynamic speed pods seen on the wing trailing edge, was the fastest airliner in the world before supersonic transports. And that began with the Tupolev Tu 144 from the Soviet Union and Concorde from Europe, which flew in commercial service from 1976 to 2005. Let's look at uh, some rocket versus jet comparisons. And I make this point because the rockets had to be air launched. They did not take off under their own power. So the speed records were unofficial. But you have the Bell X-1 uh, reaching Mach 1 in 1947 and North American's F-100 uh, doing the same as a jet in 1953. You have the Skyrocket, the first uh, airplane to fly Mach 2, and a Mach 2 jet three years later, as I mentioned, the F-104. Here's the Bell X-2, first airplane to reach Mach 3 as a rocket. And here we have the uh, Lockheed YF-12, uh, one of the Blackbird family members. Uh, and these airplanes reached Mach 3 as air-breathing jets. And then you have, of course, the magnificent uh, X-15, uh, which flew Mach 4, Mach 5, and Mach 6, all in a two-year period in the early 1960s. And the only thing that beats this one would have to be this vehicle, uh, of course, the Space Shuttle Orbiter, which uh, flies at Mach 25 in orbit and re-enters the Earth's atmosphere in the Mach 8 to 10 range. What about rocket-boosted jets? These were hybrid airplanes that had uh, jet engines as their primary means of propulsion uh, and boosted by rockets. The first would be the uh, Republic XF-91 Thunder Scepter. And then you had the uh, Saunders Row SR-53 from Great Britain, the French Trident. And uh, the I had mentioned the Griffin, uh, it was actually a combination jet ramjet aircraft, which did fly. And at the bottom, you have Republic's XF-103, a concept that never made it past mock-up, but also a hybrid jet ramjet powered aircraft. What about the bombers? Let's take a look at those. We have the uh, first supersonic bomber, Convair's Mach 2 B-58 Hustler, the Mach 2.5 General Dynamics F-111, seen here as the FB-111. Rockwell's Swing Wing B-1B Lancer. Uh, the Russian Mach 2 Tupolev Tu-160 Blackjack. And a beautiful airplane, the twin-engine Mach 1.8 Tu-22 Backfire. So what is the fastest aircraft ever flown? Well, here it is. No, it's not the B-52. It's, it's what's under the wing of the B-52. And actually, it's what's at the front of what's under the wing of the B-52. That's a mouthful. It's Boeing's X-43 scramjet. What's a scramjet? It stands for supersonic combustion ramjet. It means it has to be propelled to high speed to ignite and then fly on its own power. So it was rocket boosted to a speed of Mach 9.68. That's nearly 7,000 miles per hour. This was a test article unmanned it flew for that speed for, uh, I believe, uh, about 18 seconds. They got all the data, and then it had a planned crash landing in the Pacific Ocean. A uh, different kind of mission than the early X-planes, but it is the world's fastest flying air-breathing aircraft. And what's really interesting, I'm going to close with three amazing facts. 
uh, Boeing's B-52B mothership, Balls 8, seen here, flew its last operational Air Force mission carrying the X-43, which was the world's fastest aircraft. This was the same airplane that launched the X-15A2 in 1967, and that's the world's fastest manned aircraft. Second, by 1959, Convair, a division of General Dynamics, had produced the world's fastest fighter, fastest bomber, and fastest airliner, the F-106, B-58, and Convair 880. And third, the time from the airplane at the bottom of this image to the airplane at the top was only 60 years. And that's what this channel is all about, aviation progress. So there you have it, a look at the world's fastest airplanes. As always, special thanks to the great people and institutions that uh, support us and make these presentations possible. And thank you so much for celebrating aviation with Mike Machat. It's a joy to make these programs. We have many more for you in the months and years ahead. If you haven't subscribed, we'd love having you on board. And please do hit the like button on the way out. That does help us with YouTube. Until next time, take care.